describe to a regular individual the, the most interesting thing about Mount Rogers? What I will tell them is that besides being a very nice park mm-hmm. in the state of Virginia and very nice state park, probably the one place in the U.S. East Coast that you can see well preserved volcanic rocks. Mount Rogers is located in southwestern Virginia, close to the North Carolina border. It is part of the Blue Ridge Geologic Province as well as part of the Appalachian Mountains. Mount Rogers has sort of survived through two major episodes of mountain building, mm-hmm. through the Taconic orogeny and the uh, Allegheny orogeny. And it may, it, it may not be where it originally was. It may be just a, like a pumpkin seed that floated on the top of thrush sheets and things that brought it from farther east. Mm-hmm. And most people would suggest that, that that's the case, that it came from maybe as much as a few hundred kilometers farther east. Mount Rogers is amongst one of the more unique geological features in North America. Not only is it one of the tallest mountains in the eastern United States, it is unique because it is composed mainly of volcanic rocks. These rocks are far more resistant to weathering than other nearby rocks, which is the reason for the relatively high elevation of Mount Rogers. These volcanic rocks seen in numerous outcrops around Mount Rogers are the direct result of the onset of the breakup of the supercontinent Rodinia roughly 750 million years ago. The opening of the Iapetus Ocean is associated with the complete breakup of Rodinia 550 million years ago. Imagine yourself transported back in time over 750 million years ago, well before land plants and animals existed. At this time, the landscape was quite barren and exposed. The area was part of a supercontinent called Rodinia, and the landscape was characterized by rift valleys, streams, volcanoes, and even glaciers. Without the cover of vegetation, these streams and glaciers were able to cause significant amounts of erosion while also depositing large amounts of sediment on the rift valley floor. The rocks formed during that time are uniquely exposed in the Mount Rogers area. Now let us take an in-depth look at some of the different types of volcanic rocks exposed in the Mount Rogers area. Here we are at the Buzzard Rock Rhyolite member where we have a sort of grey maroon silica rich rhyolite which is characterized by phenacris. Phenacris being grains embedded in the rock which can range anywhere from millimeters to centimeters in diameter. So this is a rock that has, it has a ground mass to it, and then it has coarser phenocris of quartz and felspar. And it turns out that what's in the ground mass is, uh, is quartz and felspar, except there are two felspars in the ground mass. There's potassium rich felspar and there's sodium rich felspar. So there's albite and there's orthoclase, mm-hmm. and then quartz, uh, a fair bit of quartz as well. But the phenocris are the same, basically similar minerals to what's in the in the ground mass. But there's just basically two grain sizes: these larger phenocris, and then this, this ground mass, which is exceedingly fine grained, which makes the rock dark. Mm-hmm. So it turns out that this rock, when it initially formed 750 million years ago, looked like this. Mm-hmm. And then eventually the black glass turned to this very dark crystalline material, but very fine grained. Mm-hmm. And as we can see here, we are at the white top rhyolite member, which is characterized by its grayish sort of color, yet it lacks the phenocris present at the buzzard rock rhyolite member. Mount Rogers has experienced a number of geological processes over time, and these processes have shaped the unique features that we can see today. These features reveal evidence for volcanism, tectonic activity, 
and glaciation over a period spanning 750 million years, creating Virginia's highest peak. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something new about Mount Rogers. Thank you for watching.